In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to take a MIDI file you have in Logic and export it to Sibelius. So, if you've ever tried to do this before, you realize that after you export it the way you would expect, you go here, File, Export, Selection as MIDI. When you do this, it just doesn't show up the way you want to. So I'm going to save this. A little too star crossed piano. And now when I go to that file and try to open it with Sibelius, open it with default settings. I think they are anyway. You get this. Not what we wanted, not what we saw in Logic. In Logic, we can look at the same file. If we look at the score here, it looks kind of nice. You have simple eighth notes. Looks nice and clean, but there are several problems and mainly they're because of logic. Um, it's not fair to blame logic really. What logic is doing is logic's making everything look pretty for you automatically. It's making things um, be perfectly accurate in your um, piano roll. Here's actually how everything goes. It's sometimes not hitting exactly on. Things are overlapping here. not ending exactly at the right time. When you go into the score though, it makes them appear as if everything's ending at the right time and not overlapping. Look at here, no overlap. If I hit that, all of a sudden now all these notes look all complicated. If I click on interpretation and deselect it, now it shows me Here's what it actually played. Here's what the notation would look like. Logic says, well, you played that, but what I think you tried to input is different. I think you meant something else. So you hit interpretation. It says, that's what I think you try to play. You hit no overlap. It says, well, every time you're overlapping these notes, we just interpret that as legato and in notation, we wouldn't write it as such. So Logic does a nice job of intelligently making a pretty looking score and allows you to change it. Problem is, when you export that as a MIDI file, it just isn't going to look the same. It's going to look like that. So the question is, how do we get it to go to Sibelius or Finale or something like this and make it look just the way we want? We want to make the notation look correct and keep the performance. Well, the way to do that is, first of all, you need to quantize destructively the information in your logic file. So, normally you can click on a file like this and you can hit quantize. Maybe no value is bigger than an eighth, let's see. I think that's good. Let's just go with that for the moment. So pick the smallest value you have um, in your file and quantize it as that. Quantize as eighth in this case. Okay. But you also want to take that and you want to apply it destructively to write it into the file. Otherwise, logic is just going to temporarily quantize it for you so that you can change it whenever you feel like. If we're going to export it, though, we have to write that to the MIDI file. Right click on it and go to uh, I think MIDI. Yeah, apply quantization destructively. Control Q. Next, we're going to normalize the parameters on it. Control N, which writes other stuff to the file. Did that. Normalize the stuff. Boom. Okay, so now we've done what we can to this. I can't find a a way at the moment 
to write the information about this, about the score, interpretation, and overlap. I don't know how to write that into the file yet. So if you know that, let me know. Otherwise, we're going to do that in Sibelius. Okay, so now that I've got the region selected, I go File, Export, Selection as MIDI file, or uh, Apple Option E. I go to the place where I want, MIDI Output, and say MIDI Output Piano. I've already had a file there, so I need to replace it. Okay, now I go there. So I have this. Take it and open up the Sibelius. And yay, it looks ugly. So we have to do a few things. First of all, select the whole thing, triple click on it, and hit uh, Q for clef. You need that to be base clef. Next, select the whole thing again. I want the accidentals to be all flats. We're using A flat, another in the logic score. Probably should have been in the key of A flat major or something, but whatever. We're just doing it as a as a C score uh, with flats added. So I'm going to go to plugins, accidentals. I'm going to respell sharps as flats. Takes a bit, and then boom. Now we have flats. Looks nicer. Finally, I'm going to do something which is really great. Uh, one of the many great plugins, useful plugins that Sibelius has. And I'm going to go to Simplify Notation. I'm going to go Remove Overlapping Notes. That way all the notes recorded as legato in a sequencer won't show up as this continual series of ties that are annoying as they do at the moment. Hit that. Gives me some warning and stuff. You don't see it in your screen. Here we go. And then it's working, doing its thing. And voila, we have a hell of a lot better looking score here. We can change this to piano. Hmm. Don't know why it doesn't show up in other ones. Anyway, we can change that. There we go. And uh, there you have the piano part made to look better.